Good. So we're going to gently take the knees and begin to rock and roll. Nice back massage here. Good way to loosen up those erectors in the back on either side of the spine. Big back muscles. So take a deep breath in here. I want you to cross your left ankle over your right as you roll forward the last time. Plant your hands at the front of the mat. Press down. Lift up. Back into that crow preparation. Press down to your earth and squeeze up. Lift through the belly. So it's as if the navel is trying to touch the sky as high as you can. That's good. Take a deep breath in. Look forward. On your exhale, keep those elbows over the wrists even as you bend. And hop back to Adirondo. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Here we go. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, core plank one. Squeeze in and up. So find that lifting back and hip. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Lift and round up through the back. And take that leg. High up on the outer left arm this time. Remember, ball of the foot can come down and get a better grip. Or if you're just building strength, that's good, but you're going to really press. Use the inner thigh, use the knee and arm into one another. Round your back, feel the belly. Good. Bend the back leg, right leg, and hop it forward. Lift the heel to lift the knee. Squeeze on the outer upper right arm. Find your crow as best you can. Take a breath here in crow. Round down, lift up through the back. Exhale, shoot the right leg back again. Lift the left knee up to the chest, and then open that knee to the side, and send it down behind the left wrist for pigeon. Back leg can creep back, hips are even. Wave from side to side, so just find that moment of center between the two sitting bones. Walk yourself back. Take a very deep breath in. And on the exhale, pull the navel in and lead with the heart. Round the back to curl up. Find the waves of this waterfall pigeon. It should be fluid. If there's any moment of restriction in your spine, maybe stop and breathe there for a time or two. So we break those old patterns, those pockets of tension. Good. Slowly come back up. Exhale last time. Inhale, roll up, maybe open the heart a little bit more. Nice, and then exhale, plant the hands down, tuck the toes back, we're going to lift the knee into the chest, finding that core plank once again, and on the exhale, step it forward, go to that little lunge. Lift your hips a little bit higher, curl the tailbone way down, and slowly come in and up, so you're drawing through the low belly, you're drawing through the ribs, and then the skull slides, and here we are. Good. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale it out. Keep the back thigh lifting even as you lower this front one. And on your next exhale, lean yourself forward. Pick the belly up for support. And take your hands forward. We're walking in. We're keeping the hips exactly like that. Just taking a moment here in a warrior three preparation. So hands are underneath the shoulders. Work on getting your hips squared. I don't like to have a straight leg while I do this unless I'm going for just a stretch here. Right now, I want you to get pelvic floor, pelvic bone alignment so you can access your core strength and help yourself out getting into this handstand prep. So I want you to bend the standing leg. Even you advanced yogis, try this. You get a lot more movement. Lift your belly up and move your hips. Center your hips. Right, you need to reach back there and feel if your hips are level here or not. So on your exhales, three times, you're going to bend the knee. Now this is about pressing into the ground and lifting up through the belly. Exhale, one. Pull through the belly, two. Great prep. Three. Good. Very nice. And on your last one, or so, we're going to step it back. Downward facing dog, so the leg to the sky. Bend the knee and reach. So let's get a, we'll get a nice quadricep stretch there, a nice front hip, iliopsoas on that left side. You'll feel that as a stretch of the hip crease probably. And we're reaching back. This is going to help really open and release us for our back bends too. 
Good. Speaking of, take a deep breath in. Turn the hips forward. Keep the knee bent. Draw into the navel as the knee comes up and forward. Let's take it right back down to that upper left arm. Hop the back foot in. Find your crow. Repetition is magic. Maybe you're learning something just by listening and trying this again and again. Squeeze in and out more than you think. Round up for the back. Take a very deep breath in. Exhale, separate the feet. Come to Velocita. Nice. Take a deep breath in. Stretch to the sky. Exhale, slowly roll yourself down. Feet come to hip distance. Now you have a choice. Either take that bridge pose again or plant your hands to either side of your ears. Not jamming underneath your shoulders. With the elbows back like this, you have no power. You need the hands directly under the elbows. So the forearms are at a right angle. Sorry, the forearms are perpendicular to the floor. All right, so the, fo the forearms stay straight up. All right, so once we get the ponytail out of the way, we're going to be here. Shoulder blades move on the back. Take a deep breath in here, arch the back. Exhale, curl the tailbone and follow that wave all the way up. If you follow the abdominal wave and you're nice and exhale to come up, you don't need to stop by the head. You can keep the navel drawn in. It's safe for that lower back. You can draw the shoulder blades on the back as you ride. It's nice and organic to do that. If this is killing your lower back, either do bridge for a bit longer or try lifting the heels, curling the tailbone, and lengthening through the spine. Chest is moving out. Arms are moving back. Yeah, take a very deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to curl the chest in. You can lift the heels and curl that tailbone. Curl the tailbone a ton there. So you really support the back spine to come down. All right. So from here, you can cross those ankles, rock and roll. Try the sequence again. You can fold forward in your pigeon if you want to. You can stretch the quad back there. Quads, you can stretch uh, deeper into your low lunge with forearms on the earth. You can play with this one. But whatever you choose to do, do it mindfully. Do it slowly with the breath and chip away at all these poses until they become your vision of what you're totally capable of doing in this practice. And until then, work with integrity from foundation to core, and then let's see where the expression is. Wonderful work, everybody. Namaste.